Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool clear trim line by Bell South. And these are collectible. Uh, people really like them. You can see through them and you can see all the electronics on the board and they light up because they have neon bulbs in them when the ring cycle comes through and the telephone rings. We're going to explain to you about the telephone itself. Now Bill repairs telephones down in Indiana and we've helped Bill out before. He sent us a Lamborghini car telephone and uh, we repaired that. He could not repair it so he sent it to this company in Ohio and they could not repair it and so basically they sent it directly to us here at A1. So now uh, we have it and we're troubleshooting this telephone and I'm going to run through a little bit about what's going on. Uh, I've already started the troubleshooting process and we're going to kind of fill in what is going on. Now the cord is a, a shop cord. When this telephone came in, it did not have a handset cord from the base to the handset. And we have our board here. This is uh, our back cover, so we'll show you that real quick. And it has the Bell South logo on it here. We'll set that to the side. We'll show you the telephone itself. This is the main PC board. But we're going to talk about this board because we've been troubleshooting it. Now, we found two issues. Uh, when the telephone came in and Bill told me that they couldn't repair it at this other company and they were sending it directly to us, uh, the issue was that this telephone would not dial out in the pulse or tone mode. Now, we found a second issue. And that second issue is not only did it not dial out in the pulse or the tone mode. It also rang two times and then it wanted to short the line. Basically we've ran into that issue before with this type of telephone that uses neon bulbs that light up. There's some in the base and there's some on the handset here. And these are neon bulbs so uh, you know when it gets a ring cycle the electric excites the neon gas and then your bulb glows. Now if that was a regular light bulb it would tie the circuit down uh, all the time. It has to be neon. There's no real physical connection other than the gas being excited by the electric and then glowing on a ring cycle. But that's an issue we're going to look at down the line because the first issue is the telephone will not dial out at all with uh, the pulse mode or the tone mode. And so what we've done here is we already troubleshooted out a lot of the components and we have to do that because it is suspected that the tone generator IC is bad and uh, we're going to show you that. But we want to make sure that the other components are not damaged either. And this is our IC. This is our tone generator IC. And we have a lot of circuitry that runs through this. So we very well may find that uh, our ring cycle issue is not, uh, has been solved by uh, changing the tone generator IC. But we also have to make sure, since this telephone most likely took a surge, and that's what damaged the processor, so we have to go ahead and troubleshoot everything. Now, when you're troubleshooting like diodes and transistors, you want to remove them completely out of the circuit. Uh, you know, some people do troubleshoot with them in the circuit, but uh, I try never to do that because uh, you want to make sure the component is, is good and it's hard to do that when it's in the circuit. So I remove my components when I troubleshoot. And uh, it takes more time, but it's the right way to do it. Now, you may see a socket here, and I'm gonna bring that a little closer. We actually had to make this socket, okay? 
because the chip is an odd size and if you don't have the exact socket you have to actually make one in other words you don't want to remove the tone generator IC and then solder another one in and then find out well you have other issues or uh, that's not the case you know it's not going to repair the unit so you want to remove the original IC and put in sockets because then you can plug in another IC and test the circuit so what you're seeing now is the old IC removed and then a socket in its place and then we have the replacement IC marked with a piece of tape so we're getting ready to put that IC into the socket and test our unit now we may have to go into this telephone further and check out the ring cycle issue now to get back to the ring cycle issue that's a very sensitive circuit because you're you're lighting these neon lights when you're in a ring cycle mode and they also have them in the base unit but you also have a bell that the ring cycle circuit is ringing so there can be a lot of issues associated with the phone ringing once or twice and then uh, shorting and taking the telephone off hook and that has to be uh, troubleshooted out and you have to figure out why that's happening and it could have been because of the IC chip the tone generator because this handles a lot of other functions throughout the phone and it also handles our dialing so we're going to change the IC and then we're going to go from there and if we have to troubleshoot further we will but we're at the point now we have our socket in place and we can just plug our uh, replacement IC chip into that socket there and then uh, we don't have to solder anything and you don't tear up all the solder points when you're uh, replacing the uh, IC chips so we need to get that taken care of we're gonna take a short break from the video and we're gonna install the IC and we'll come back and we'll get some more video as we move forward in the repair of this really cool clear trim line telephone by Bell South so we'll be right back now what we want to do is we want to test the dialing out on the handset and we have the hook switch in the position that we need it in so all we have to do is plug in the line cord and we're gonna get dial tone we have a little emblem that comes on and lights up it's like a little bell telephone and now we can dial out if you watch the analyzer we're in the tone mode and that's where we want to be because everyone's going to use this telephone in the tone mode since we have a setting from pulse to tone if you watch the analyzer you'll watch the numbers roll by now when this telephone came in it did not dial out in pulse or tone I'm going to end in two. Now I want to go ahead and transmit into the transmitter. So if you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time I transmit, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hello, hello. So now what we want to do is we want to push the flash button. It's unseized the analyzer and reseized it and gave us dial tone. We can hit redial. And the analyzer will end in a two. So we are okay now with the dialing issue. That's not a factor any longer. What we need to worry about is the troubleshooting of the neon lamp circuit so we'll go ahead and take a short break and we'll come right back as soon as we move forward in the repair of this really cool clear trim line telephone we'll be right back
Okay, we're back now, and we're in the middle of the process of repairing this clear trim line telephone, and we're going to talk a little bit about what's going on. Now, we mentioned earlier that we had an issue with the ring cycle. When this telephone rings, it wants to ring once or twice and then seize the line and, and just actually hang up. So basically, it's showing a short and then uh, it'll take uh, your line down or it'll take the analyzer out. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and show you what it's doing on a ring cycle. Now we're going to go to a normal setting and you'll see what it'll do. It'll ring once or twice, it'll seize the analyzer, and then it will no longer ring. So let's go ahead and try a normal ring cycle. and it just drops out. So it sees the analyzer and drops out. And we'll go ahead and try that one more time. We'll hit a normal ring cycle. And it will not ring again because it sees the analyzer again and it's just not going to ring. And we cannot have the telephone doing that when it's in a normal situation, no matter where it's installed. So now what we want to do is we want to troubleshoot out our circuitry for our neon lamps. And we have two of them in the base unit PC board, and then we have two lamps in the handset PC board. And over time, what happens is the values change of the components that make up the circuit. Even the lamps can change a little bit here or there. And so what's going on is we need to troubleshoot out the issue. We'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the repair of this really cool clear trim line telephone. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are finished up with the repair of this clear trim line telephone and we're going to run through a little bit about what went on. Now we were in the middle of troubleshooting the ring cycle circuit and the neon lamp circuit and so basically what we did was went through and troubleshooted the entire circuit and none of the components that are associated with that circuit turned out to be that far out of value or tolerance that we would go ahead and rework the whole circuit or rebuild the whole circuit. So that's not feasible. And it just simply comes down to that with the bell in the ring cycle circuit and the four neon lamps, it's just simply pulling too much REN out of the line. It saturates and then it uh, shorts the line out. So there's just too much going on. And back when this telephone was put out onto the market, they regulated the telephones a little better, even though they don't really want to admit it. Uh, they had a better ring quality and there was a better ring quality to the lines. Now the more modern lines do not support as much REN any longer and this telephone with some age on it is just pulling the line down. It's just taking too much out of the line. There's too much going on on that ring cycle. And so the best thing to do, the most logical answer to the situation is to eliminate two of the bulbs that are in the base unit. And by doing that you lighten the load on the REN that it's pulling out of the line on a ring cycle. So you didn't really see those bulbs too much down in the base unit anyway and we get to keep the visual effect on the top of the handset. And we're going to go ahead and start our final checkout. Now we also want to mention our amplified pickup. We use this in troubleshooting, repairing, and on our final checkout. And it's amplified so that you can hear the audio from a receiver. 
when we're checking out the telephone. And we're going to ring this unit with the analyzer, but we're going to let it ring more times than normal because we had an issue with it pulling the line down or uh, shorting the line and taking the analyzer and seizing the line. So we want it to ring quite a few times. And we're going to go ahead and start that now with the analyzer. So we'll send a ring cycle. And you can clearly see the neon bulbs. It's a nice visual effect. We'll let it go a few more times. We're going to go ahead and pick up the unit and we're going to reset everything. We're going to ring it one more time. We'll let it go a few times. We want to be assured that this is going to work in any location. I'll let it go one more time and we'll give you some dial tone. We want to go ahead and dial our numbers. If you watch the analyzer, you'll watch the numbers roll by. I'm going to end in a 2. I want to transmit into the handset. If you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light light up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3 four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> hello, hello. So now what we want to do is we want to push the flash button that reset and give us dial tone. And we want to hit the redial button and it's going to end in a two on the analyzer. Now what we want to do is we can push this button on the analyzer. That gives us a line out, totally takes the analyzer out of the situation. And we can call a time and temp number. So we'll go ahead and give you some dial tone. And we'll call that number. We can go ahead and hit the flash button, give you some dial tone, and we can call my number and it'll be busy. We can hang up. Now that we know that this really cool, clear, trim line telephone has been repaired, we can return it to Bill and he can return it to his customer and I'm sure they're going to enjoy it very much because there was a couple of shops that looked at this and could not repair it so I'm sure they're going to be pretty happy about that this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair A1 Electronics you can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235 6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.